Hello everyone, this is me on my farming channel again, on my power limit vlogs. I am actually out here this morning, and as you can see, there's a lot of smoke. So what I am doing, I am um, doing a piece of cleaned up. I did this piece of cleaned up here for my pigs. I have one of the plantings in between. So I'm gonna focus on my plantings. As I said, there is one or two that has been missing, which I have to supply back. And I have to regulate them and give them the manure in. But I'm actually waiting for the rain. I we should be getting some rain anytime soon. So that's the reason why I came and cleaned up. And then I'm going to come one day, mold up, and I'm going to give them, wait for the rain to give them some of the manure. So there is fig, go right up to that whole spot there. I shouldn't have any um, any problem when it comes to wanting for other plants to replace or plant in other gardens. So I already have what it takes for now. I'm going to work with what I have. And sooner or later, I'm going to have enough to put in the spots I didn't get a, whole, a few again. So what I did today is I did some cleaning up. Get ready to plant some potatoes. So in this area, I'm going to be doing some potatoes. This won't be here, but I'm going to go right up to the bank. So I did the first half of cleaning. Me and a partner of mine, and we're going to be doing the second piece of cleaning, which is not going to take a day. It may take a few minutes. So it's just there. I do got one or two figs here, and what we plan to do is we plan to leave them so that they can get bigger and give us some more plants. Or whatsoever they might want to do a little more fig. So all for now, the garden is start looking like a garden. Uh, these are the trees I've been cutting for I think one year now, or one and a half. They had been there rotting them for some time, so I wanted to take the time to give them enough time to rot so that I can get them to actually start a fire for me and I'm gonna just, as they burnt out so from this space here, from this end of the garden to the end after the piece of wood that is being burnt and I'm gonna take a straight from up there and I'm going to edge under the passion fruit going to go right back so so this whole field of spots here is going to be for potatoes and then from the top up there where i got my trees cut down i'm going to get a saw chop it up throw it on the ends there and then i'm going to line up the place and get ready to put on some plantings and then the last piece right on top i'm going to be doing some tanning so I'm working with what I have for now. I have a few plants. We actually decided to put one or two tanias between the figs that are going to be growing up so we can have a mixed cultivation there. It's not a bad idea at all because I got enough room there which can take some tiny plants well enough. So I'm working on here for now. I'm almost finished here after I burned up this stuff. Then that is going to be what they're going to be left. And then I'm going to move on to the other piece of um, grounds to do with the other piece of farming. So for now I can say I have this land under control. So the only thing that's left for me to do right now is to do a piece of spraying. And I think I want to get that spraying job this week. So I'm going to spray the top up there. I'm going to give it a spray. I'm going to give it a last spray again. Clear up all the borders and the bones. Go right up. You know, do that piece of spray. And also I'm going to make the wrong. Spray the edge in. And I got a little piece of spray. So I'm going to clear off the whole land. Spray it off. Dry off all the bush. Clean it off. And the other side over there that looks bushy. I'm going to leave this for my animals. So I got to change them in a while. They are there for now. They are eating. 
having some time. So I'm gonna go give them the right amount of food for the shoe eaters right now. I'm gonna tie them off and then I'm gonna head down home to take a five and then I can see after my nursery. I have to breathe back. As I said, I'm going to breathe it back. So this is what I'm gonna do for today. So I'm gonna leave that fire burning here. I don't think I have any else for the fire to go. So I'm gonna leave it there burning. And I'm going to go change my animals and I'm going to get out of this garden. But before I go, I do have to take all these seeking plants and put them to the fire to burn. And I think I'm gonna do that one time. So thank you all for watching on my Dower David vlogs. I'm happy to see everyone who is watching on here. Whosoever is gonna comment. It may not be now, it may be later on when you see my video interested and you know, find some sort of like my videos and you would love to watch them to get yourself motivated to do whatsoever you want to do. And I don't think this should be a problem. So what I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna be leaving here and I'm gonna be heading home. But before I go, I'm gonna go change my animals as I said and give them a better place to eat. And also I am going to go check on my nursery. So as you see this piece of fire there, it's gonna burn but there is no place for it to go that much. So I'm not too frightened. Because I know it can't go anywhere further. So what I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna out it. Because I'm not too sure. But we're gonna dry the set of bushes around the area. So it's a lot of heat, but I'm going to go down there and I'm going to go get my job done. So I got a few pieces of small fire there that's gonna be burning. It's gonna burn out the whole place to make it easier for me. When I come, I can do the last more um, bunking ups, and then afterwards, I can do a last piece of burning. And I don't believe that should be a problem afterwards. So, these are gonna go into the fire to get burned. The reason for this is these are what we call seeding here. Um, if you don't control it, it can approximately take over the whole whole garden. In some time well enough. So what we do there with them is see if we can get the roots. We uproot them. We even pull out all the running stocks and we burn them. That's how we get rid of the seeds here. Otherwise, it's something that spreads when it's almost like a vine and it can take over the whole place before you know it. So that's why we separated them after we did the cleaning up so that we can burn them separately get rid of them on fall once and for all. There's been a lot of smoke. Ah, I've been sniffing a little bit. But that's just the farm life. If you have to work, you have to prepare for the work. Whatever the work will be, you have to prepare for it. So, fire all over the place. Fire, smoke, fire, smoke. Fire, smoke. So, I'm gonna head down home, get some water to drink. I'm gonna start back to the nursery. Um, it's not going to take me long, it's not going to take me 15 minutes to just line it back up because I'm not going to be doing anything big. It's just going to be something unique. Uh, I'm going to be having someone running it for me. It's the timing I have right now. It's 
a little bit scarce and I got a big 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 project I want to handle with some mountain lands so I have to be quick as possible here here is not my basic of work okay you can understand I used to work the garden already so it's just a clean up burn a piece of wood in the center there and continue to clean the area over there and then afterwards plant some planting so that's just long term things that, that can be done in the evening time so I have no thread there but for the mountain land which has a lot of I don't know what I'm gonna meet there if I'm gonna meet a lot of big trees I'm going to meet a lot of um, controlling things like this here I'm not sure what I'm gonna need but what I'm planning to do I'm planning to do a big piece of corn and I'm also planning to do some melons okay but first of all I'm gonna go watch the whole spot I got my little brother with me I think he's gonna join in that chair um, don't want to do everything myself don't want to make all the money myself so I'm gonna tie him in since he's young and I believe he's going to get to understand some of the ropes of how certain things work in the farm life. And actually, he says that he's going to be doing some crops that is less attention. So the mistakes I made maybe for my time going on, I'm going to make sure he doesn't make the same mistakes. Because uh, I don't want him to work too hard in life and then afterwards you don't see what you work for. Okay. So you, 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 yes, everything in this life makes money, but there are certain things I can say you can do that's going to be less stressing, less time, and it's going to give you a very good income. And all what you need to do is just stop up. It's like your pigs and plantains, uh, your potatoes is just a few manuals, um, manuals, water, manuals, water. So it's not no big set of... Um, thing to say that you have to actually fight to 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 wet and every time you have to wait and if you don't want water it's a problem and you have to draw water and you have to fertilize you have to spray for all the types of diseases and stuff like that i used to do it in the beginning and i'm not saying it's not a profitable business it's a very profitable business because in maybe nine months time to a year time according to how you plant and take care of your trees then you start getting the yearly harvest. The only problem is that with one hand of pig and one hand of plantains, you may get ninety dollars for one hand, and that's a good bit of money. And if you have enough and you have a good variety of plantains that they are very big, then you're looking for a very good exchange. And on top of that, you don't have to plant again. You, the the others that's going to come up through the stock, you're just going to remove some of the plants. And you're gonna let the rest continue and just like that you're gonna have enough always always coming in so after two months three months four months you're gonna have them in stage so you're gonna send up other other suckers and you're gonna always have plants you're gonna always have chewing so you just need to regulate your stool manual and make sure that whenever the water falls you put sufficient manual so that they can sustain for some time and afterwards this shouldn't be a problem because you're gonna have your potato you're going to have your plantains, you're going to have your tanniers. And for that soil here, I recommend it with a tannier because it's not a big set of um, things to say that the ground is hard or the ground is um, difficult, you know? It's nothing like this. It's more easier than this. I can actually take my cutlass right now and I can just, see? I can just send it there and it goes down so easy you know so there is no problem here all we have to do is just make beds and just do what we have to do so i'm going to be heading out i'm going to go change my animals i just tied them here for the, m the moment because i didn't want to get them in contact with the fire so i bring them down a little lower leave them here for now and now i'm going to go change them give them some proper food and i'm going to head out of here come back this afternoon and see if they doesn't tie it up or if they doesn't have any other things or if I have to get some more feeding for them to eat so wish you all all the best on my channel 